Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters. I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> a lot of people today, or actually for the last 150 years or so, when Seventh-day Adventists came up, have been saying that they believe in a works-based salvation. Especially when it comes to dietary laws and the Sabbath. First off, that is a false statement. However, I won't sit here and deny that there are fanatics in the church. They are in every church. But the church as a whole does not believe in a works-based salvation. Do I believe that only Seventh-day Adventists will be saved? Absolutely not. Do I believe that every Sabbath keeper will be saved? Once again, no. Do I believe that everyone outside the church will be lost? Not at all. Do I believe that everyone who never kept the Sabbath will be lost? No. The church as a whole does not believe that and none of us want to see anyone lost. We would like everyone to be saved and I think I can speak for the whole entire church when I say that. In fact, the book of John chapter 10 verse 16 says Jesus has sheep in other folds. But the truth is going to be brought to them eventually, and they will have a choice to either accept it or reject it. We believe we are saved by grace through faith, not by works. But that doesn't stop there. We don't believe in cheap grace. We will not be saved by our works, but nor will we be saved without them. You understand? James chapter 2 makes that abundantly clear, friends. Faith without works is dead. Read the entire chapter and be blessed by it. You see, Jesus isn't our employer. We don't work for him to earn salvation. We work for him because we love him. Love is an action word, friends. It's a verb. I love my wife. Therefore, I do everything I can for her. Not to earn her love, but because I love her and she loves me. Bottom line is this. People say we are saved by grace through faith, and then they stop there. But the truth is we are saved by grace through faith, which works by love. And that, brothers and sisters, is what purifies the soul. I can't speak for everyone, but I naturally keep God's Sabbath because I love Jesus. How is keeping the Sabbath works-based? I mean, Sabbath simply means rest, for crying out loud. And every Sabbath has blessed me. No stress. No work, no worry, no burdens. Just spending time with my Creator for an entire day and receiving His blessing. It's a lot more than just going to church, potluck, and taking naps. It's about Jesus. It's not about do's and don'ts, friends. It's all about Jesus. People don't understand that. If Jesus is truly in the heart, you're going to want to keep the Sabbath. You're going to want to be healthier. You're going to want to be a man or woman after the heart of God. You see, Jesus loves you and wants you in the kingdom, friends. Accept his gift of salvation and live. He died to save you. People are making their final decision already. While grace and mercy still lingers, make the right decision. Jesus is coming soon. And brothers and sisters, stay tuned for upcoming videos I've been studying things lately, and the more I study scripture, the more I see how important it is to be spiritually and physically ready for his soon coming. Keeping the Sabbath and the dietary laws, they're important, friends, and I'm going to share that with you soon. This is John Tinsley with Everlasting Rock Ministries, and always remember, the truth never fails. God bless you.